when I'm in the garden, I think my mind just focuses. I'm working with dirt, I'm harvesting vegetables. That is a great feeling. I found out that there was a community garden and I knew that that was an opportunity for me to be engaged and involved in the community. Where people work, where people play, where people live, where people grow. That's community. I really believe that it's a problem when you have people who cannot afford to live where they work because they actually cannot partake in really what makes that community so special. Many people are moving to Chapel Hill and it's a small town and prices have been going up and up and up. And that's made it unaffordable for many families that do work and live here. We need to remedy that. Weaver's Grove is our bold answer to the affordable housing crisis here in Orange County. It's an innovative, mixed income neighborhood right in Chapel Hill where people from different backgrounds, different ages, different countries, different races can all live in one community. Weaver's Grove will be home to over 100 families purchasing their first home through Habitat for Humanity, but also home to 140 market rate homes. In many ways, Weaver's Grove is the most audacious project that we have attempted with our Habitat affiliate here in Orange County. Habitat's really putting its chips on the table and saying we think this is an important step and a community like this is the way we want to move forward as an organization. We've been intentional through the design looking at not only how do we build a community that has multiple housing types for multiple incomes, but also how do we really bring people together in an intentional way? When we were living in the apartment, I remember being very secluded. We would think to ourselves, wouldn't it be nice to have a home where we can have family over invite our neighbors, our friends, give our kids a big yard where they can play, run, jump. Once we knew that we were going to be able to get a Habitat home, I knew that I had to be engaged in my community. I mean, I remember going to the garden and, you know, meeting other people. I started going to the meetings every month, trying to find out more about what was happening in the community so that we can participate as a family too. After purchasing their home through Habitat, homeowners just like Judith become even more invested and connected to their community. As we look at and have a, a conversation in our country right now around race, around justice, around how do we try to understand one another better, that one of the big ways we could do that would be living amongst each other. And if we look at the kids who will grow up in this neighborhood 20 years from now when they are embarking on their college careers and their careers out in the world, what a different mindset they might have having grown up around so many different types of people throughout their childhood. This Habitat home, it's more than just the walls and the room and the space and everything. It has really given us the opportunity to grow and not just grow ourselves, but grow with our community.